Hello, sweet souls. Happy Valentine's Day. It's February 14th. And this is going to be your angel message reading. Um, happy Valentine's Day for all of you out there, whether you're with someone or not. It's still a day of love. So embrace the energy of love today, regardless of if you're alone or with a partner. Uh, we're going to call in St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call in the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. Also, check out my link tree. Um, it'll take you to Astrodipity, uh, which is the online dating site that uses your entire, entire birth chart placement to align compatible partners. And uh, it's free for the month of February to new subscribers. Also, you can uh, find my scheduling link there as well for private sessions. All right, let's see. Current advice for the collective. Okay. First card out, we got Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information. For many of you, you are getting prophetic dreams, downloads, your intuition is off the chart. And they're saying now is the time for you to take charge with authority. Go after whatever it is you wanna create. Take inspired action and don't let fear hold you back. They want you to trust in your instincts, trust in your intuition because it's guiding you in the right direction. When you do this, you are going to enjoy growth and reap rewards. The bottom of the deck is snake, shed your old skin. And what I just felt was shed the old, old belief system of about who you are, what you can accomplish. If you had insecurities or fears in the past version, the unawakened version of you, now is the time to shed that old way of existing, the old way of thinking, okay? So I'm gonna clarify it with the, this deck. I don't remember the name of this deck, but we're gonna clarify to get more advice for these cards. So for the collective, Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. Also, I am uh, doing a live event, 310, one subject mini reads on TikTok, 310 Eastern time. If you're interested, head over there and uh, join us on the live. One second, guys. Okay, with be open to healing information, it was clarified by you are bright energy, color uplifts you. You have raised your vibration, which has changed your aura, your energetic signature. And so you are in the vibration to be able to receive these messages, these downloads from the divine. And that's where they want you to pay attention, okay? All right, take charge with authority. Please clarify, take charge with authority. Why do they want you to take charge with authority? Because all is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. Regardless of what it is you are inspired to create, if other people are doing the same thing, it doesn't matter. Don't let that deter you because what you have to offer is special and unique. With trust your instincts, what advice do you have with trust your instincts? Card number 33, you may be seeing threes. This is the card of ascended masters. So the threes are ascended masters. They come down during periods of awakening, huge transformations in your life. It says you're healing your heart. The heart hurts, but it will mend in time. Your intuition is what guides you. Your intuition is what is what helped you to heal from the heartache of the past. Now you have wisdom that you've gained from this lesson. So they want you to trust in what you know. Okay, believe in that because there's wisdom in that. Um, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Stay the course. You're moving in the right direction. They're encouraging you. They're saying you're going to see the growth. You're going to get the rewards. Even if you don't see it now, keep going. You're headed in the right direction. You're headed towards success. The bottom of the deck, which is shedding, shed old skin. It's clarified the bottom of this deck by explore, love, create. The only thing that holds you back is you. Again, they're saying, get out of the old mindset, the old version of you, <clears throat> the unawakened version of you that felt insecure, that was filled with fear and felt like you couldn't make changes in your life. It's time to release that energy. It doesn't serve you anymore. All right, let's do the moonology and see what we get for the collective. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? Mm. 
luck is on your side. That wheel of fate and destiny is aligning for you now. Take advantage of this lucky period in your life. Prosperity lies ahead. Then we got your commitment is being tested. You know, this stuck stagnant lull period where you feel like things have been a struggle. Nothing has been picking up. They want you to know your commitment to what it is you're being called to do is being tested. The divine needs to make sure that you are committed and devoted to this path, that you're not going to jump ship and revert back to your old ways of existing. So of course you're going to be tested. Of course you are. But they want you to believe in the impossible now. They said take time to breathe out. They want you to just be in a relaxed state, open to receive. They don't want you to stress or worry. They want you to keep pushing forward and keep trusting. Balance spirituality and practicality. You know, this is like living in the 3d realm but operating in the 5d balancing both okay bring love into the situation i will say it every day love is always the answer coming from a space of love it is a superpower that is untouchable by dark energies no one can affect you when you are in the energy of love whoops we got two wanting to come out we got surrender to the divine and a win-win outcome is forecasted. Doesn't matter what you're going through. Surrender it to God and a win-win outcome is forecasted for you. A time to give rather than take the universe wants to give to you now. You have passed the test. You've passed. And now is the time for God, the angels and saints, the universe to reward you. So let's do the star seed and then we will close out this reading. Let's see. What advice do you have for the collective, please? What advice do you have for the collective, please? Advice for the collective. Portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards and wild card. You don't see it, what's happening. You don't see what's being aligned. You just know things are difficult. It's like climbing up a hill. Nothing is aligning. No matter how much work you're putting into things, they're saying what you don't see is doors are going to open for you. They are opening. You got the love. Codependency and boundaries. You've learned the lesson of codependency. You have learned to love yourself first, to set boundaries. And now you operate in the love energy. Now you understand how valuable the love energy is that you hold activated earth power plays power places ley lines trust where you're led trust where you're led i love that the seas of mintaka seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light this talks about you know you receiving inspired action epiphanies downloads you're inspired to create something. It comes to you and then you let it come out. You indulge in that and you take action upon it because you know that it's the divine calling you to do it. They're bringing to light what has been stuffed down in your unconscious that you're meant to put time, attention, and energy into. You're meant to create it. Hold on a second, guys. Then we got the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. I love that. The bottom of the deck says lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. You know, when God is preparing to elevate you, he will push you to release people, places, or things that are low vibrational because they should not God does not want them to have access to your blessings that he's bringing in your life. 
So don't be surprised if God starts revealing truths about certain people, places, or things so that you can release them because he's getting ready to bless you in a big way. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you have an amazing uh, Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.